There's a small alcove in between my ensuite shower room and bedroom where my girlfriend and I tend to get dressed and ready in the morning and I wanted to make a shelf to sit above the radiator. I didn't want to drill into the wall if it was avoidable so I had the idea to create a self-supporting shelf that the radiator would hold. The shelf was going to be pretty small and wasn't going to be holding anything heavy so I was confident that the radiator would support the weight. I started by cutting a piece of card to make a template for the shelf brackets that would sit in between the wall and the back of the radiator. I started with a rough shape and then just kept snipping away at it until it would fit snugly. Once I had a template I was happy with, I drew around it on a scrap piece of plywood and used my bandsaw to cut it out. Then I marked up the second bracket using the first as a template and cut this out too. Then I sanded down the brackets on my belt sander to clean them up and make them smooth. I then checked that the brackets would fit behind the radiator. The bracket on the left hand side went in fine, but for the bracket on the right I found there was a lump on the back of the radiator. So I used the belt sander again, this time to round the edge of the right hand bracket a bit more so that the contour of it roughly matched the lump. I had some leftover magnolia bathroom paint that I had used on the walls in the room and I wanted to use this on the shelf of the brackets. With the brackets completed and painted, it was time to fit them. I then measured the width of the alcove and where the door frame was so that I could cut a shelf to fit the space. I had a piece of pallet wood that was just the right depth that I wanted. The wood had a few nail holes in it, but I could use a filler to fill those and then paint over it. I cut the shelf to the right length and then used a pencil to mark the cut I'd need to make for the shelf to fit around the door frame. Then I made the cut with the jigsaw. Then I used the table saw to clean up what would become the front edge of the shelf. Then I sanded down the shelf. Did a quick test fit, which went well. Used a filler to fill in those cracks and holes. And once the filler had dried, I sanded down the shelf again. I had some scraps of hardwood that were attached to some sheets of reclaimed plywood that I'd bought. I'm not sure what it was, I'm not very good at identifying wood types, but it looked like it might be teak. I really liked the grain on it, so I wanted to use this as a trim for the shelf. So I ripped it on the table saw to the same width as the shelf. Then applied some wood glue and used some brad nails to attach it to the front edge.
Then I used the bandsaw to cut it to size. And then sanded down the trim so that it was flush with the shelf. Then I used some sandpaper just to soften the sharp edges of the trim by hand. And applied some boiled linseed oil to the trim just to bring out the grain. Then, once the oil had soaked into the wood, I buffed it with a dry cloth and used some masking tape to cover it so that I could paint the shelf without getting paint on the trim. Once the first coat of paint had dried, I rubbed down the shelf with a 600 grit wet and dry paper to achieve a smooth finish, and then gave it a second coat of paint. Then I removed the masking tape, gave the shelf another light sanding, and applied a furniture wax to protect the wood. I applied some instant grab adhesive to the top of the brackets using a caulking gun. Then placed the shelf on top and applied some waterproof sealant to the back of the shelf. I smoothed the sealant over with my finger Then I grabbed whatever was around to put on the shelf to weigh it down until the adhesive and sealant cured I left it for 24 hours and then the shelf was ready to use